country. Ireland has done very well for the last 30 years with our jobs and economy and growth and we believe we can continue to do that in an enlarged Europe. And by voting yes tomorrow, people will be copper fastening our position of neutrality by inserting a new provision into the Constitution to ensure we can never enter into a common defence pact without a referendum of the Irish people. There is full support for enlargement on all sides. It's simply a matter of how that is done. But the Nice Treaty, we would argue, is about changes in structures after enlargement, which creates a two-tier Europe, where the big states dominate by way of a whole series of changes, and the smaller states, like Ireland, lose influence. Well, I think we as a country have benefited very, very well from, from being part of the European Union. And I think now it's time we help other countries who want to benefit also. Uh, I think it's better be inside than outside. We'll lose some independence and we will depend on the kind of the union a bit more. But I think it, we'll maintain independence and possibly neutrality, you know. For the sake of democracy, I think I'll vote no. Because, I mean, we were given the chance to vote and we gave our vote. And we said no, so now the government is saying, no, sorry, that's the wrong answer. So I think I'm going to vote no. And so you've got these political assurances and legal assurances on the critically important issue of neutrality and in addition to that much more information has been given to the public. You know, it seems to me to be entirely legitimate for the government to ask the people to look at this again because after all it isn't only the Irish people that are being affected by, by this particular vote. The people of Europe and the citizens of the candidate countries, they are being affected. So in all of those circumstances I believe it's perfectly legitimate to ask the people to have a look at this again. All the other 14 member states have signed up to this. Ireland has not yet. But Nice doesn't happen unless all 15 sign up. So if Ireland says no, which I sincerely hope it will not, but if Ireland says no, it will mean that some other set of rules is going to have to be cobbled together in some manner or form. That process, at the very least, will take time. And the consequence of that is that enlargement will be put back, uh, some people say for months, other people say there's a significant risk. It could go back for a period of even two years. And, and one should bash when it's required. I mean, there's no doubt about that.